East Side Dave McDonald. You go out to New York City, find a homeless guy, murder him, Batman snuff rises. Chris Pepper Stanley. Jedi, so much the best better. one. I'm oh, sorry I don't like the second one the best like everyone else. Sean O. Barry. This is what you get in my house. We're spilling paint in the garage. Where do I stutter? Roy Schaefer Harder. I was ready to don a Yankee, Yankee, Yankee outfit and go bash people's brains and run through the streets. They are the movie experts. They are the movie masters. They are the Watchers. Hey. Yes, thank you, 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 thank you. We are the Watchers. We are your monthly movie and sometimes television experts. The name is Eastside Dave McDonald. With me, as always, Chris Pepper Stanley. So we have Sean O'Barry. Hello. And Roy Shaver Hart. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> well, the show's just begun, Roy, but that's okay. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I was told not to talk over the music. Well, you're doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for fucking up that intro, Roy. Appreciate it. That's what I do. No, I started laughing. I saw Chris sipping on his wine. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, October 7th. Today, Roy fucked up every intro to every show that we've done. If we had a, a third show, maybe we'll do a, a, our finally our, our heralded uh, podcast, Mint Madness. And I'm sure uh, Roy will fuck that up. By I'll experiment. No, no, but he won't even go mint. He'll he'll say he'll say like I I, I like gobstoppers. <laughs> He's off the fucking no. show. See, I pepper, like oranges. Pepper. Something totally non-minty. Pepper. I like umbrellas. Or pepper. you can come on the show. Me and Luis are doing cock talk. Cock talk, which is mm. I think going to be a fantastic. I'd like to be third mic on that one. Maybe um, I'm holding auditions. All right, all right. I'll fucking I'll, I'll try out. I got no fucking ego with that shit. Now we have a lot going on, a lot to talk about. Uh, I just saw the uh, commercial for a new Steven Spielberg film starring Tom Hanks called Bridge of Spies. Yeah, right? New Spielberg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here's what's weird. This movie's coming out, I believe. What uh, next October, Friday? October sixteenth. Yeah. Spielberg movies are big deals. Why is this not getting any hype? Is this like one of these, uh uh-oh, a terminal type of things where, oh, boy, I I don't think I believe in this movie. It's 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 an Oscar movie. That's what's happening. So it's getting, you know, not the crazy giant, like, big Spielberg blockbuster release because it's not a blockbuster. It's a Spielberg. Bullshit. Bullshit. He hyped up Lincoln. No, I mean, you think Schindler's List, Lincoln, you think his Oscar nom Saving Private Ryan movies didn't get hyped up? When a Spielberg movie is is Oscar nominated, it's still hyped up like a Jurassic Park. Well, this one isn't as, I'd say, sexy as a, uh, you know, a Lincoln or Why a, not? Why, because what is it, it's, an, it's, 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 um, it's, uh, it's about the Cold obscure. War. It's about the Cold War. And, um, and it's about you know the CIA spies in the Cold War. It's based on a true story, and uh, yeah, and that's and I've heard that it's, it's straight up you know he's looking for the Oscar. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Has Spielberg ever won an Oscar? He's been like the most hyped up Oscar, like a uh, color purple, right? Most nominated Schindler's film. List. Schindler's he won List. Won Best Picture, my friend. Schindler's List. But what about and soundtrack? He won Best Picture and Best Director, and then. For Saving Private Ryan, they did that weird split vote that I always hate. He did win Best Director, but if you recall, they gave Best Picture to Shakespeare in Love, which is an absolute atrocity. Try watching Shakespeare in Love now. It does not hold up. Saving Private Ryan is still a fucking great movie. Uh, what about the uh, the color purple? That's him, right? He was nominated. He's been but, nominated. No, for, but, he was even nominated for Raiders. Got the Best Picture nom. Uh, it, I think yeah, Color Purple got a nom. I think uh, I think no, but the Col- Color Purple was the most nominated film that never that uh, got zero Oscars, kind of thing. Possible. It's possible. Sean O'Barry, fifteen points. If you're correct, we're not going to Google it right now no, because, no, uh, quite frankly, uh, it's not that important. Um, listen, I love that, Spielberg. I love when he works with Tom Hanks. Uh, one of my favorite things, I mean, Saving Private Ryan, I absolutely adore, but I'm a big Catch, uh, catch Me If You Can fan. That's a good uh, one. I th- oh, I did uh, yeah, and I thought Tom Hanks especially was a fan. I thought he was a steam sealer. I know it was all about DiCaprio and Christopher Walken as uh, you do what you have to do as his father, but I thought uh, Tom Hanks with the little Boston accent was uh, one of the highlights of that picture. 
Okay, Tom but... Hanks is a highlight in any picture he's in. Let's be honest. Hey, Captain Phillips is fucking Captain Phillips. Okay, did you see what Tom Hanks did the other day? Did you see this? Uh, no, no, no. What what happened? I don't, I don't, I'm not up on my Hanks news. He th- okay. Well, I'm gonna give you Hanks news right now, baby. I'm gonna give you Hanks highlights. Uh, he uh found some girl from Fordham University's student ID. He okay. found it in a park, and he took to Twitter, and he took a photo, and he goes, hey, Lauren, you want this back? Talk to the Hanks man. And he put it all over his social media. Sounds like some fucking slut named Warren left her ID in his hotel room. That's oh! what it sounds like. It sounds like Tom Hanks is crushing that college pussy. Whoa! That's what I fucking just That's realized. That's sexist, dude, okay? Why is it sexist? Maybe it's just true. Maybe no, Hanks no, loves no. fucking. Maybe it's no, just listen, sexy. Listen, listen. If, if I just watched a documentary on Saturday Night Live, okay? Yeah. And people would have been boycotting you and your Andrew Dice Clay humor all across the board the way they did on that episode, okay? Did you see that, Doc? It was on NBC. Uh, we can talk about it because it's technically a movie. It was a documentary on Saturday Night Live. Did you see this? I haven't seen, I haven't seen it. Nora Dunn. She was a cast member in 1990. Oh, I love Nora, love of, Nora Dunn. Of, you know, yeah, she's no, so you sexy. Don't, you don't I, even I, I, know, I know fucking Nora Dunn. Is oh, yeah, fucking... give me one sketch Nora Dunn was in. Okay, she was in the – she was – uh, her and Chris Kattan were the – um. Where the guys in the club who would hump people. Fuck no. Nora Dunn was not one of oh, those. Oh, that's Will Ferrell. Sorry. She was in with close. Jan Hooks. She was one of the Sweeney sisters. Oh, she's sang. dead. Yeah, yeah. The Jan Hooks bit broad is dead, right? He died. Yeah, she died. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Thanks. What is this? In, uh, Rest in Peace show? Yogi Berra's dead, too. Yeah, now. Yogi Berra's Yogi Berra dead. Yeah. Anyone else? River Phoenix. He died too. You want to bring the show down even more? Yeah. Rick Coleman dead. died, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's bring the show to uh, uh, um, some happier uh, news. Um, and that, of course, is Star Wars. Yeah. Episode 8. Finally, talk about some Star Wars. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking alcoholic cow you rode in on. Okay, Barry? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you like this? Yeah. Oscar winner Benicio del Toro has signed on for episode eight. That's so, a, not, yeah. Not only. That's like an episode away from this episode. Not only, according to my predictions, December 17th, we are measly two months, 10 days away from Star Wars The Force Awakens episode seven. Not only will that win 46 Academy Awards, but now as Benicio Del Toro as a villain in episode eight, that will probably win, I would say, somewhere upwards of 58 Academy Awards. Every single Oscar that they can possibly give, bank on it, put it in the books. Otherwise, I give every single one of you a Russian ruble. Okay? I think and, I, th- yeah. I think Benicio del Toro's um, agent is amazing. He's the collector in the fucking Marvel uh, franchise, and now he's going to be part of the Star Wars franchise as well. Yeah, fuck. Is he a, really man. Benicio del Toro's in uh, the Marvel universe? Dude, he's he, the he's the collector in uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, Guardians the, of the Galaxy. There you go. Yeah. And which is going to be a, oh you know, right, 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 right. He was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Well, he was always that. That, that movie came out. Is he going to reprise that role? I mean, that was he a, has to. That's a that's a huge that's a huge comic book character role. The Collector. Absolutely, he'll be back. Yep. That was a small little role in the movie. Are you giving us a spoiler alert? Well, I, I mean, and it's it's kind of known within the comic book world. Yeah. I don't read comic books. Is oh. Guardians of the Galaxy two? Does that character play a bigger role? Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Spoiler alert, motherfucker. It's all about the collector. Exactly. It's called yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the collector's collecting. Yeah, See? it's Pepper's collecting your fucking, fucking ass. Ironic. Pepper's being salty, and it's pissing off Roy Schaefer, who looks like a supervillain, tw- twiddling his thumbs over there. Actually, looking- you know, I, yeah. I got a little spoiler alert on uh, Star Wars Episode 8 too, Dave. Go ahead, babe. They just added two... Female leads, okay, are the heroes or the villains? They put in uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, what was that girl? Uh, Scarlett oh, Johansson, uh, <laughs> uh, Google Mama Raw, what? and uh, Gina what? Rodriguez. 
Tatiana Masali and uh let's just move on. Let's not even address what Roy's gobbledygook means because if you're confused at home, don't worry. The rest of us are all confused. It's like he's a Star Wars character. He's basically talking like fucking Greedo in the goddamn cantina. Pepper's drinking wine. You've driven him to alcoholism, Roy. It's Roy's he's, fault. He, Pepper's like CC Sabathia at this point. He's Same eating. body type, too. He's eating Captain Crunch. He's fucking drinking out of a fucking wine out of a box. <laughs> and, and we don't need to know about it. Um, so a lot's going on. Now, did you also see... I'm actually fascinated by the Steve Jobs movie. That's the well, you? I don't know. I don't know what to think of it because I think it's why it's like in real time and there's three different three different parts, so three different... Um, it's like that's leading up to like a uh, the Mac Expo where they uh, where they pre premiere a new product. I don't it's, know this. Yeah, it's it's in real time apparently. It's like three half hour pieces of three different um, years in Steve Jobs' life as it leads up to a product launch. I think that sounds fucking cool. Yeah, but I think the story's pretty. I mean, do you remember the movie um, Pi Pirates of Silicon Valley from like, the Do I remember night? the movie Jobs that was only out two years ago? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. They, they just made this. But the funny thing is that's how shitty Ashton Kutcher is. He literally put out a movie called Jobs. It's the exact same movie, but because he sucks so much elephant dicks as an actor, they decided let's get... But didn't didn't, didn't Michael you, Fassbender... On, you can't argue with Danny Boyle, who's directed Train Spotting. Uh, 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 Slumdog Millionaire and a little film I like called Shallow Grave. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And now is directing S S Steve Jobs, not to be confused with Ashton Kutcher's Jobs. Ashton Kutcher's Jobs just been called Hand Jobs. Didn't didn't Fastbender like didn't Fastbender bust balls on Kutcher by saying I just studied him or something like that? Yeah. Uh, someone asked uh, Michael Fastbender if you don't know him, he is. In the X-Men reboots, he plays the young Magneto, but he was also the, I thought, really good as that English guy in the Inglourious Mexican standoff Bastards, scene yeah. in Inglorious Bastards. And uh, that Michael Fassbender dude, they asked him, uh, how would you prepare for this? And he goes, I washed Atchin Kusher. Zing! Yeah, boom! Bingo. Bam! Fassbender also has a big dick, and it's what everyone likes to talk about in Hollywood. And he better put that thing in Mila Kunis, baby, just he like should. Ashton DP her, right? Him and Ashton Kutcher DP her all the time, right, baby? Babe. Babe. Yeah, babe. Yeah, I'm listening. Ashton Kutcher and Michael Fassbender, they're the DP, Mila Kunis, right, babe? She's going to like it so much, she's just going to leave Kutcher. Babe, you going to watch some DP porn tonight? I'm not Louisa Schaefer. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. All right, so sometimes we we do a little movies, and then sometimes, well, we do mostly movies, but sometimes we do a little TV, and I wanted to bring up this list. Uprocks.com put together the top 10 HBO shows of all time. Okay, give it. Let's hear it. Um, did you guys see the list? I know I sent you the show prep. I, but I, have, not, I have not seen I saw, the list. I, I didn't look I, at it purposely. I saw the list. Okay, so I don't want Roy, I don't even want you to guess. Uh, Sean O'Barry and Roy, uh, I mean, and Pepper, guess what would be number one? I think it's between two shows. HBO shows, top ten HBO shows uh, of HBO, all time. HBO. I would think it's between two shows. It's between Curb Your Enthusiasm and The Sopranos, and because everyone says The Sopranos is the beginning of the golden age of television, I'm going to say The Sopranos. I agree with that uh, sentiment. The beginning of the golden age of TV. Uh, Sean O'Barry, what's your guess? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of the same thing with Pepper. I get uh, two shows: either Sopranos or uh, uh, fucking uh, what's the goddamn what's the goddamn fucking Jamie Lannister. Uh, Game, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, sorry, Jesus Christ. It's been and long. Roy Schaefer, guess Sopranos. Well, uh, Roy, even though you uh, read the show prep and uh, read the goddamn email, you're wrong somehow. It is, it, it is uh, Game of Thrones. Are you fucking Number kidding me? One. Number one. I think everyone's a little caught up in the Game of Thrones thing. Number we two. We don't all read the books, you fucking dork. Here's what surprised Jesus me. Christ. The Sopranos, not number two. The what? Wire the, the wire, wire was number two. Uh, the the wire. wire number two. I'll read you a hold this uh, quickly. Th uh, three Sopranos, four Curb Your Enthusiasm, five Deadwood, 
six, six feet under. And I think they just voted that six because six was in the title. Seven, Sex in the City, total bullshit. Eight, Silicon Valley. Are you fucking kidding me? Nine, Tales from the Crypt. What? And ten, True Detective. Um, They left out shows like Treme. They left out Boardwalk Empire. They left out Mr. Show. They left out the Larry Sanders show. What about Eastbound and Down? Did that make the list? No. You know what? You might joke, but Eastbound and Down is better than Silicon Valley. What about, what about Dream On? That was, that was my favorite back in the no, day. That was a little bit of a bullshitty show, though. So Come what? On. I get to see t- titties when I was young. How about Rome? Remember that one? Rome sucked. Rome was one and done, and I have an I, I'm actually I have a, a, an anger towards Rome because they canceled Deadwood, which was a brilliant show, made number five on this list. Yeah. They canceled Deadwood after three seasons, even though it was going strong, because Rome had such a huge budget they couldn't afford both shows. So they had to cancel Deadwood to make uh, a, a way for Rome, and then Rome ended up sucking. Yeah. And being canceled after one year. I would also mention a little show that was two seasons and done that always gets forgotten. That the Ali G show. Carnival. Carnival. Oh. You know what? Ali G was on HBO, Roy Schaefer and Banks. So that's, that's not a bad yeah. job on your part. No, no, I was right on that. The kids in the Hall were on HBO. I don't know if you how, remember how, that. How, how, about yeah. Boardwalk, how about Boardwalk Empire? Yeah, Boardwalk. That's... One of the best shows of, uh, of all time. You can't put Silicon Valley or Sex in the City over Boardwalk Empire. Six feet under? No. Over Boardwalk Empire? Nope. Fraggle Rock. It's true. All right. You're just reading the email now. No. Fra- oh, I don't gonna... have the email in front of me, actually, David. I deleted it the minute I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. No, I don't have the email. No, I'm telling you, I don't. No, I believe that is yeah. the most truthful thing he's ever fucking said. All right, said. seriously. All right. I've, I've sat next to Roy and watched him delete your emails without reading them. Is sing actually... the theme song to Fraggle Rock right now. Sing it. Tracy Blues away. Oh my God. <laughs> Where God. is for another, another day? Tracy the Blues away. Uh-uh. Down, Down to Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Down to Fraggle Rock. Down to Fraggle Rock. There you All go. Right. All right. 50 points for Roy. You look like shit right now. A <laughs> hundred points for me because I I began that segment. Wait, but um, but what what beat out the Sopranos? What was the what was the show? Uh, oh, the, the Wire, Wire was number no, two. No and Game fuck. of Thrones was number one. Sopranos came in at number three. Hey, look, I can see Game of Thrones and Sopranos, you know, shooting it for number one, number two. But no fucking way, The Wire beats The Sopranos. No way. No way. Uh, you would think that the the Wire. Listen. The Wire is a truly, truly, truly great show, but you would think that The Sopranos made way for The Wire. Kind of like started at the same time though. I think the, it was The Sopranos, and then The Wire came on what season two of this during the season two of The Sopranos. Sopranos was ninety nine, yeah. and The Wire began two thousand two. It had a three year head start. Sopranos. Well, I don't know so shit. The uh, Wire knew what. Oh, okay. This is uh, how we can roll now. We can really fucking get into n- nitty gritty, and I do agree. That we had not seen anything on TV before The Sopranos. The Sopranos, still to this day, after Goodfellas, after the two Godfathers, after Miller's Crossing, and maybe a casino, I put The Sopranos right there in terms of any other gangster movie uh, or TV show. But certainly, it's as good as any gangster film. Certainly, the first three years of The Sopranos are as good as any gangster film out there. All right. If you, know you guys, had, if you guys had to choose, what would be your best gangster film of all time? Oh, seriously? That's yeah. If you, had, if you had to choose, Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Yeah, that's the easiest. That's the obvious. Oh, you know what? I'll go with Scarface. Pepper. I like Casino better than Goodfellas, so I say Casino. You guys have your heads so far up your. We can say the Godfather. Asses. Come on. Yes, I yeah, say no, Godfather. Yeah, no shit. Yes. But, come on, that's almost like a no shit. But it's not a no shit. But it's not a no shit. Pepper, stop this typing. This isn't a, up for Christ. debate. This isn't up for debate. The Godfather began, begat it all. So no, nobody ever, nobody ever beats the Godfather. No. Nah, Dave's right. Dave's right. Why the fuck did I say the Godfather? That is the best one. Uh, it, good right. it is. I know, I know yeah. your love for so good The Godfather is definitely better than the Goodfellas. It's. Shakespearean. It's 
beautifully as, as it, it's so as is Sky, you, so is Scarface on that uh, that level I don't disrespect Scarface my thing is has always been that Miller's Crossing gets highly highly underrated I go very controversial and say Godfather 1 is the best Ooh. Goodfellas is the second and here's where I get controversial Miller's Crossing is third I'll third best gangster film of all time I'll tell you what if the Godfather never had any sequels I would agree with you. No, 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 you can't do that shit. No, I'm doing That's it. That's like saying that Jaws isn't a good movie because there was a fucking Jaws 3 no, listen, and I'm Jaws not... 4 where the, jaw, where the shark don't... was in the fucking Bahamas. No, no, don't, grandmother. don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Uh, look, uh, Godfather 2 is amazing and Godfather 3 is, you know... Uh, but uh, I'm just saying, Goodfellas... Terrible is, is a... the word you're looking for. Well, I don't know. Uh, hey, Joey Zaza! You know, I like that part. <laughs> but, uh... Zaza! No. Zaza! No, but you know, if you the longest if, running uh, ser- series on HBO, this will blow your mind. All right, here's a way to change the subject. Go ahead, Roy. No, thanks. <laughs> we were into a topic, but go ahead. Yeah, Fuck no, yeah. Tra- go yeah, ahead, guess- show show record. Go ahead. Go for it. Go, go <laughs> for it. I was just saying something. No, yeah. No, 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 no. Go, go for it. Off the rails, man. Go for it. Go ahead. <laughs> thanks, Roy. Not necessarily. No, 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 no. You do it. Topic distractor. Go ahead. Go for it. Let's go. Go show killer. Go. Talking about something else. The Godfather, then. Yep. <laughs> no, go ahead, Roy. I'm, I'm just that- kidding. Yeah, it was not necessarily go. the news. Thank, that thank was the longest-running HBO show of all time? Yeah, it ran from 83 to 1990. It beats them all out. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> the uh, sound of crickets is what you were hearing uh, for that. Isn't Kirby Enthusiasm in like eight seasons or something by now? Yeah, or what, continuous is what he's, the, Fuck you, Roy. He's, he's totally <laughs> wrong. <laughs> He's totally wrong. No, I'm right. Sir. I'm telling you. It's, no, I'm right. It, Curb Your Enthusiasm it, it has be, began in 1999, and they're coming back for another year. I but, was watching HBO while you were still in your dad's cock, man. I, I, I remember <laughs> these I remember right. these shows Roy's a long. Old, Roy's old as fuck. He's you're right. you're old. You're yeah. I'm an old timer HBO. I, I had HBO when it was uh, when it used to cost four bucks a but, month. Yeah, when it was still on Channel Six, remember? Yeah, when it was still on Channel Six. I, yeah, I know. That was HBO. Roy, 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 from, with, with a wisdom here. Roy, Roy <laughs> was watching when it was like the the camera went over that model of the, the little city and the ba 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 ba. Yeah. Oh my God. And then feature presentation. Yeah, that was the best. Yeah, I actually missed that beginning too. Now that shit was the bomb as the kids right. said. All right. I remember watching a making of on and that opening. Yeah, I saw that too. I'm gonna give you. Uh, I was just uh, Netflixing uh, a couple things. Uh, one I'll talk about in a second, uh, but I'm gonna get to one, another one first. I'm gonna Ooh. give you uh, my best picture of the year so far. It's a small independent film called Jurassic World. It's about um. These dinosaurs, you see, and um, they, yeah, and they, they're, they're eating people, and br- mm-hmm. uh, not Bradley Cooper, uh, Chris Pratt is able to talk to the dinosaurs. Whoa. He's Put hot it in the right books. now. He's hot right now. If Star Wars Force Awakens doesn't win, or if Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight doesn't win, Jurassic World wins Best Picture. Does anyone agree, or they, do they disagree with that comment? No, I agree, Dave, because I think you're 100 percent correct. All right, thank I, you, Pepper. Thank you. That's sarcasm. Okay, that's that's noted. So off All right, face. duly noted. You are 100 uh, percent incorrect on that one, David. Uh, Jurassic World was not a good movie, and I hate to say because me and Sean both worked on it, promoting it, but it will not win anything. Did you really work on it? We sure did. We did a bunch of sound design on a bunch of uh, trailers. Uh, and so you're going to shit on your own film? This would be something I would be quite proud of because I actually let, okay, it won't win Best Picture. I was speaking in jest, but I thought it was entertaining. You, you, you really didn't like it? I mean, I'm not nine years old anymore, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. This guy fucking Bam! face. Bam! Zing! <laughs> I, I did not like it, David. I thought it was a bit silly, and I remember the first one. There was character depth. That, <laughs> none of that exists anymore. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. He's deep. Sam Neill. <laughs> Jeff, yeah. Jeff Goldblum is deep. Yeah, a lot of layers to that guy. Really? Am I wrong? He's give a good me, actor, Roy. Give, give me back. one quote from Jurassic Park with uh, give me one Jeff Goldblum quote. <laughs> Chaos. Go ahead. Chaos go, go, go ahead, Mr. Deep. 
I can't come up with one. I can't come no, up. Of course one. not. Of Nature course. Nature finds not. a way. Nature <laughs> finds a way. Thank you, Pepper. You get the point. <laughs> but, the, but, but you weren't even playing. Maybe How you didn't think about if it, if it's something you could do, but if, if you should do. How about the part where he keeps uh, slapping the uh, table? He goes, "Yeah, you didn't discover the science for yourself. You stood on the shoulders of giants, oh, yes. and bam, you patented it and you slapped it and you sold it on T-shirts." It's like how many fucking times you're not Judge Judy? Stop slapping the goddamn table over hey, here. Get yes. off Goldblum's dick. It's Goldblum, dude. No, I'm not gonna get off Goldblum's dick. I asked him to sign me an autograph when I was 12 years old. He signed an X. You're still on my fucking uh, shit list, Goldblum. Don't think I fucking <laughs> forgot. All these years later, you were filming a movie in Spring Lake, New Jersey. I stood outside your trailer in the snow. I said, Mr. Goldblum, can you sign this? And he signed a fucking X. I haven't forgot Goldblum. You're number two on my death wish. Number one, of course, Roy Schaefer. <laughs> How many points is that worth, Dave? X amount of points, pal. Uh, <laughs> for X, 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 like your fucking eyeballs are going to be like after the, this program. Like Goldblum. <laughs> like Goldblum's signature. Yeah. Um, you know, Goldblum is actually good. I'm cool with Goldblum these days. You what's, know? Uh, what, what's, what's that filmmaker, Wes? Uh, what's, uh, yeah, we, 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 he's done some good shit in Wes Anderson, especially yeah. Budapest Hotel. I really liked his character. Earth that are easy. part... Where he was pleased with the Earth Girls are easy. We're talking a serious <laughs> film here. Um, the part where uh, Willem Dafoe is chasing uh, Jeff Goldblum through the museum in Budapest Hotel. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the uh, most beautiful. That, 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 that's one of the coolest uh, just scenes I've seen in movies in a long time. It, it, like, it's a very old school, like, Hitchcockian fucking uh, scene. Thoughts and opinions to the rest of you. I like the way his fingers got chopped off at the end of all that. So yeah, all right. I give you Chuck. that. I would say more vaudevillian than Hitchcockian. Vaudevillian? How so? I'm more like a silent movie type of uh, scene. If you uh -huh. if you watch it without the sound, and you picture like a crazy piano playing over it, <laughs> it'll take you right there. The whole running yeah. scene, the whole chase scene. I agree. I agree. Pepper, you agree? Good call, Roy. <laughs> I like the way you break down a film. I like the way you. I like the way Roy looks past what's just on the screen. Weren't Von yes. Villians a live act? Like Sometimes I like to even turn off the picture to see what my what my mind's eye would project. Like what your you're piano not, sounds like. Not actually watching anything. Yeah, by the way. Uh, but I'm listening. No, no, but actually that you're going against everything the Watchers just stands listening. for. The name of the film. The name of the show is The Watchers. Someone drives the truck. What the fuck what, is what, that? What the hell's happening? Yeah, I'm sorry. I live in fucking New York City. I'm not some suburb fag like you three. Jesus Christ. Wow. What do you got? What do you got? A dump truck? Back yeah, it up apparently you got to suck a dick to live in a goddamn go house go in the suburbs. Go the fucking window. We're doing the show. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking chain smoking fucking... Aren't you, like, aren't you like on the fourth floor? What the fuck is happening? You look like Travis Pickle right about now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking dump truck Stanley over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Pepper calls his ass. Dump, dump truck. truck. <laughs> dump truck's my porn name. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh. He's in a jacuzzi with fucking Burt Reynolds. I see it in purple lights. Dump truck. Yeah. And then the lights explode. You think of that, Burt? <laughs> How much time do we have left on this train wreck of oh, the fucking show? Just, just whatever you want. Whatever you want, we can go. All right. Well, listen, 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 listen. We did all that we could, you know? We That's could. we uh, had. Hey, I'm going on seven hours of sleep here. We got to give you a break. <laughs> hey, Roy, go fuck give yourself. Roy, no, give Roy that. a break. He's fucking tired. Dude. Seriously, right, Dave. Right? Give fucking Roy a break, dude. All right. I, I apologize, Dumb Always Chuck. Always making fun of me. Shit. I apologize to the Dump Chuck, and I apologize <laughs> to, to Nambla over there. And I apologize to Sean O'Barry. Thank you. And, and for everyone listening to the Watchers, we thank you all, and we will see you in November yeah. for our November episode of the Watchers Dumb for Buck. East Side Dave McDonald. Yeah. yeah Chris Pepper Stanley. Sean Barry. Ah. Roy Shaver Harder. Roy. Hey, hey, hey. Keep dumping out there, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> God bless, dump trucks. Take it deep, everyone. Take it deep. <laughs>